Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mick from Camera Bits here with a video about ingest in Photo Mechanic. Uh, specifically ingest from selection, uh, a relatively new feature in Photo Mechanic. It was launched in 6. Uh, first, a little uh, cautionary tale for you. I'm part of a Facebook group for photographers and this weekend uh, someone was complaining that they had corrupted their memory card and were unable to get images off of it. And I just had to shake my head. Um, this is a story I hear not too often, but often enough that I wanted to alert folks to it. Um, a lot of people um, currently are trying, I've seen, try to edit their photos. That's add ratings or color class or tags or even some keywords. Do that on the memory card before they copy them off the memory card onto their hard drive or SSD or whatever. Uh, they do this to save space, generally. Um, and while it is possible to do this in Photo Mechanic, uh, we don't recommend it. And here is why. Uh, when your image is on the memory card and you start adding ratings or color class or, or any kind of metadata to the images, um, and this includes even just tagging them, um, you're going to be creating, if you're shooting RAW files, you're going to be creating XMP sidecar files. Um, if you're just shooting JPEGs, you're going to be, edit, you're going to be changing the JPEGs. And when you do this on a memory card, it's just not that safe. Um, for one, if you are adding XMP sidecar files, um, they're going to take up space on the card. And if the card becomes full, you're going to run into issues. A uh, full card can, can get corrupted rather easily. Not, I mean, it's not going to happen every time. Uh, this person said that they had been editing on the card for 20 years and never had a problem. Uh, but this now they ran into a problem. And I, uh, I don't want folks running into this. So um, camera bits, we highly recommend always um, pop your memory card in, ingest all the files to your hard drive, your SSD, uh, and then start your calling, your editing, your process. Start it after you've copied the files. Uh, now, we understand that some folks uh, don't want to get into that habit or they they... They are really hurting for, for, for drive space, and we get that. So um, we added a feature in Photo Mechanic called Ingest from Selection uh, for you to be able to ingest just a certain, uh, some selects from a card first so that you're not ingesting the whole card. And so I wanted to demonstrate that uh, right here. Let's call up Photo Mechanic. Um, first of all, uh, let me, in the Ingest uh, dialog, which you can get to Command-G, but if you... In here now, the ingest from selection, like you can ingest from a disk or you can ingest from a folder. Um, ingest from selection is grayed out, so well, the reason for this is you haven't selected anything yet, so just cancel out of this. Um, in preferences in Photo Mechanic, uh, on the general preferences tab, you'll see on mount of camera bis disk um, show ingest dialog. Now, if you're obviously if you're ingesting your entire take every time, that's going to save you a lot of time, but if you want some more input into that process. Change this to do nothing. And then you're gonna, when you pop in a memory card, it's gonna show up in your navigator down here um, to the left side of Photo Mechanic. So here's my memory card. Um, and here's a trick also, uh, a lot of time memory cards will um, bury your images down in a, a number of uh, uh, subfolders. But if you just right click on here, choose open folder and subfolders in new context sheet, you'll see everything on the card. So here we go. I'm actually looking at files on a memory card. Uh, these aren't the most beautiful photos, but I was just on a walk the other day in a rainy, snowy weather here in Portland. So that's what we got for the demo. And now, um, if you were to select, now if you hold down the um, command key on a Mac, you can do a multi-select. And if you see images you want to select, it's like, okay, I want those. And then if you hit command G to open the ingest dialog from here, um, you'll have ingest from selection is available. Um, it lets you now it would just ingest the ones you're, you've selected. Oh, but we'll cancel this. That's that's fine if you if you are obvi know obviously which ones you want. But um, a lot of people want to actually take a closer look at their photos and go through more of a uh, more of a rigorous uh, process to to actually look at the images. So let's uh, so if we can do this with a preview window, double click on that, calls up a, a much larger preview of the image. Um, and what I wanna show you is, 
This uh, gadget up here in the preview window says it's a plus sign. There's a plus and a minus. Add photo to selected set and remove photo from selected set. Uh, what does that mean? This means you can add this photos to a multi-select. And what this will do is let you um, go through and select these photos from the preview window. Um, but one thing, one thing very important, the default setting in Photo Mechanic is not going to let you do this as easily as you might think. Um, if you click this plus button, really nothing happens. Um, I can cycle through the images with my arrow keys, and it obviously updates the preview, but clicking on the plus doesn't really do anything, and the reason why is in Photo Mechanic's preferences. So we're going to go back into preferences, and go down to the preview preferences for the preview window, and down here there's a, a setting, synchronize single selection between preview and contact sheet. Um, this is selected. Now let's deselect this. We'll turn this off. And let's go back to the beginning here. Now, um, if I'm looking at this, this the, the preview and the selection are sort of decoupled. And what this means is that I can go through with my preview window here. I can even I can maximize this if I wanted to. Um, and every time I hit the plus key, now you see it's active. It will add that to the selected set. So if I like this one, hit it. Use, now I'm going to use my arrow keys again. And um, I'm going to use the shortcut keyboard shortcut for the plus sign, which is W. And I can add different images to what's called the selected set. Let's see here. So I can come, and as you see here now, these images have been multi-selected. And the beauty of this is this doesn't add anything to your memory card. This is just a selection within Photo Mechanic. So nothing is being added to the memory card. You're not writing, you're not changing the images yet. Uh, you're just selecting them. And then I can go into ingest, call up ingest, ingest from selection. And now I will just ingest all these files that I actually want to ingest. Um, I can use the power of the ingest dialog, which is renaming, which is, you know, having my primary and perhaps secondary de destinations at applying some, some metadata templates during the ingest. Um, so you can get all that metadata goodness that you wanted um, without doing it on the card, which is so much less risky. Um, yeah, so hope, I mean, that's that's the tip um, ingest from selection in photo mechanic. Um, hopefully a word to the wise, this might save you some um, some heartache down the road because I, I hate hearing from folks who have who have corrupted a card and lost images. It's, it's the worst feeling in the world. Um, I know I used to do a lot of, um, I would delete things in camera off memory cards to if I was running out of space on a, on a memory card in camera. Um, certainly possible. I corrupted a card that way um, just by deleting images. It's, it's best to um, um, shoot, fill up your card, dump it. Then at, once you copy the images and, and made sure they're safe, then format the card and start over. Um, just that's the safest way to do it. Uh, hopefully this helps you. Um, Use ingest from selection if you want, or like I said, we recommend just ingesting the whole card to the to the hard drive or your SSD or whatever and doing your edits there. Um, that's it. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us on camerabits.com. You can send us an email. You can call us up if you have questions about your own workflow, if you want input or even just helpful suggestions. We're more than happy to go through it with you and uh, offer tips or see things that uh, maybe you missed and... Um, we're, we're happy to do it for all photo mechanic users, even if you're on a trial. So give us a call and uh, hopefully we can help you work faster, uh, work smarter, and work safer. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.